with every painting you get a reward if it comes out well. I'm uh, a Sunday painter. I just uh, been a, a painter for a long, long time. I'm doing it uh, with uh, more enthusiasm and skill as I go along. I think I've been inspired to do a lot of different things, but maybe a theme that uh, goes through everything that I've done is uh, trying to to achieve some some sort of realism, not photographic realism, but a type of realism that, that gives impact to the, the painting that I do. It, it, it pops, it makes uh, people at least first at first glance think, yeah, that's it and that's what I'm after. And I've done that with uh, cartoons, and, uh, uh, but it has mostly been uh, na the natural world that I'm interested in. Yeah. With uh, my kit for going outside, this backpack that I've got gear in, uh, I sometimes will just take it on a hike and paint if I feel like painting. It doesn't, it, I'm not necessarily going to paint, but if I find a place that, that says, you better stop here, I will. Well, water, watercolor is one of those things that a, a process has started and has to be taken to the end because it is, a lot of times it's wet. And, and so uh, oh, once you start a, a five minute wash, what's called a wash, you have to complete that wash. You can't stop in the middle of it and talk to somebody. If it's, if it's chilly, the paint doesn't dry quickly enough. One of the best things about watercolor is what they call wet in wet technique, where you, you have a wet sheet of paper, you put wet paint down it, and you paint into that wet area. And uh, that can, be a brutally short period if it's if it's hot out and it doesn't work out that well. There's different kinds of wet and wet painting and and they all depend upon uh, if the wind's blowing like it is right now, it'll it'll dry it up very quick. So that's a challenge. The, the, the supplies I take are, are uh, uh, you know a, a little uh, packet of uh, Winsor Newton paints. They're a quality paint and it, the the paper is also. Uh, high quality arches paper, set of paint brushes, and, uh, and the chair that I'm so much in love with, and the, the uh, uh, jug of water if I need it. But uh, I'm all set up in just a compact area here, uh, and ready to ready to, to paint. I did a painting of our ranch, which sat on the side of this mountain. And uh, uh, it turned out so well that I, I, I tried it on a 14er. And that turned out so well that I did maybe eight or 10 more. And at that point I thought, well, I might as well do all of them. This is something that I, re I really felt from looking at all of the other publications regarding 14,000 foot peaks is that there were not that many good pictures of them. And, that is uh, mostly because, I think it's because uh, people don't have the right perspective, the viewpoint, this particular spot in space to view them from. There are these things that are up there. And so Google Earth has uh, historical uh, photos that uh, basically there are a whole series of photos that gives you uh, maybe five or six different times a day to, to see how the shadows fall on a peak. And I will take shadows from one, one uh, year and, and snow cover from another and perhaps vegetation from a third and get it in, in some sort of a, a painting that, uh, that makes the peak look good. I feel a little guilty about promoting them further, actually. Um, I'm hoping that this project will do more good than harm. 
people get very enthusiastic about this particular group of mountains and it my understanding is it's not been good for them. I really saw the impact of the huge use of the trail up to the boulder field on Long's Peak just last summer. And uh, it's, they're, they're being overloved, that's for sure. With every painting you get a reward if it comes out well and so it's sort of like getting another fix you've achieved something you like it and uh, that'll fade after a while but you can get it back by doing another a painting and doing a good job of it my name is mike wilson and i'm retired and mostly what i do is is uh, have as much active fun as I can skiing, bicycling, and hiking, but I also love to paint, and I like to be outdoors. <laughs>